March marks the first ever UNESCO World Day for Glaciers, a day to celebrate nature's water towers, which supply fresh water to more than 2 billion people worldwide, and a day to spread the warning that glaciers are melting at an alarming rate. We're all facing this, so we're getting together to try to work up some solutions. Glaciers naturally grow and recede over time, but with the Industrial Revolution began an unnatural and persistent warming trend. And research into glacial melt rates of the past shows that the rate of glacial melt in recent decades is unprecedented. In fact, scientists estimate we've lost 9 trillion tons of ice since 1975. That's enough to cover Germany with a sheet of ice 25 meters high. And while it may sound dramatic, this is a threat to civilization as we know it. Societies around the world have developed around water sources fed by these glaciers in the Himalayas, the Andes, the Caucasus, Canada's Rocky Mountains, and more. If trends continue, many glaciers are on track to disappear completely by the end of this century, meaning that stream flows will become less predictable and more reliant on rainfall, and the level of agriculture, hydroelectric, and everyday water use that we've become accustomed to may become unsustainable in some regions, and that's all in addition to sea level rise. Right now, it's mountain glaciers that are causing the greatest amount of uh, sea level rise around the world, and that's, uh, that's a big problem for many coastal areas. That's why glacier experts gathered in Paris and New York this weekend to discuss how to alter this course and how to prepare for impacts that already look inevitable. Uh, that'll be a, a big adjustment for us, and uh, we'll need to manage our water very differently and manage our expectations of what we can get from that water very differently as well.